Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday morning. Glad that you're here. Hope uh, hope you're doing well this morning. If you have the opportunity, okay, I've been up for a couple hours now, and uh, on my second, you know, trash can full of, I've got trash cans that are smaller than this, by the way, on my second cup of coffee this morning, and I would just tell you, it's gray, it's drizzly, and if you have the opportunity, just go back to bed, and I'll see you in the morning. That's what do you think of that? How's that for an opportunity? Good morning, Reinerts. How are you this morning? I hope you're doing well. It's a beautiful, well, it's a it's a great day because you know what? We got a new opportunity to get it right. Huh? New opportunity to get it right. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things become new. Good morning, Marilyn. How are you this morning? Thelma, happy Wednesday to you. Wednesday morning. Emily, good morning wherever you are on the planet. Good morning to you. Mary Kay, how are you this morning? Melissa, I'm glad you're here with us this morning. And Ruth, God bless you. Well, listen, yeah, so today is, what is it? It's September the 9th. I can't see without my glasses. I think it's the 9th. I think that's right. I've got a. I've got my screen going here. Uh, right right behind you uh, is my screen where I can see, uh, you know, your, your Ripa. Hello, Mary Kay. Mary Kay and uh, Annie, God bless you. I can see uh, that you're on here and see uh, many of your comments. But over here on the other side behind you is uh, behind your right, uh, behind your ear, be uh, this ear, is uh, I can see my, I can see my laptop. And yeah, this is the ninth, today's September 9th. Well, good morning, Wayne and Dorothy. Are you camping out somewhere this week in the camper? Are you camping in the camper this weekend, or is it just too darn cold, and has that, has that moment passed? Although it's September, I mean, this is the time when you'd be getting that out, I think. Good morning, Ron. How are you this morning? God bless you. Thanks for the note. Appreciate you. Love you guys. Sherry, right? How? Oh, wait. You're just in the office. Yeah, right down the hall. Yeah, okay. Good. All right. Okay. Uh, Shirley, how are you? Diane, good morning. How are you this morning? Oh, gosh. It's great seeing y'all. Glad, uh, glad you're able to join us this morning, and uh, yeah, just kind of... It's another day in the office doing what we do, and it's really good to see you, Terry, as well. We are working on, in fact, I've got on my uh, agenda uh, to look into this day of prayer, this prayer rally on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. So that's on my plate. In addition to Romans 4, uh, that's on my plate for today. Candy Short, I miss you. I don't, you probably don't even recognize me. I'm Daryl Jones. I'm one of the pastors here at Grace, and uh, yeah. But uh, good to see you, Siobhan. Good morning. How are you this morning? Hope everything's going good for you. Okay, I need to turn off my turn off my ringer there. Yeah, that's gonna be a that could be a nuisance. Okay, good, good, good. So how are you? No, Cindy, it is. It is a little burr out there. It's. I mean, I think it's gonna get more burr. But uh, hey, you know, Jeff. Good morning. Happy uh, Happy Wednesday to you. Glad you're here, Jerry Wilkerson. God bless you, man. Great to see your name. <laughs> And Val, good, well, good morning to you. Heidi Ho, neighbor. Hope you're doing well this morning. No more wild parties over in your cul-de-sac, huh? Come on. People are trying to sleep. Some of us have jobs we have to go to by day, huh? And Brenda Gilstrap is, uh, Campbell is waving, and I don't know how on earth you do that, but I'm waving right back. Uh, Josh, good morning. Uh, glad you're feeling well. It was great to see you. Uh, uh, Sunday morning, didn't get a chance to say hi, but uh, great to see you as always. Vicky, God bless you. Oh, I just love this, man. It's really good to see you guys. You got two and a half miles in before getting soaked. You know what? I used to love a nice, honestly, I didn't mind a, a, a run in the rain. It was actually kind of different and, and uh, you know, it's everything smelled fresh. And uh, yeah, I, I really never, as long as I had a cap on and I didn't have rain you know, coming down in my uh, in my uh, eyes, I loved it. Jr., how are you this morning? The men's retreat is this weekend, so Jr. and, and I are thinking about going up to uh, going up to Mazingo tomorrow and uh, actually camping out a day before. Just we'll get a couple couple nights camping in a tent, huh? What do you think about that in this kind of weather? Why not? That's what I say. Hey, listen, you tell Dick I said hello and uh, I miss him, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hey, I've got to get my own coffee now. That's what you tell him that I really. I super miss him. That's what that means. Kristen, how are you this morning? God bless you. Glad to see you. Glad you're here. Hey, hey, Kristen, get yourself a cup of coffee and a donut. How'd that be? Well, so, okay. All right. Well, we got a few minutes. Oh, we don't either. It's 9.01. How did this happen? How does it? I need to start getting on at 8.30 in the morning. 
Okay, yeah, you're not gonna get on at 8.30 in the morning. I'll, I'll hang around for myself. You can. It's all you can do to stomach this, I know. All right, well, let's get into the, uh, hey, let's get into the devotion because this is a pretty good word. And uh, and I pray that it uh, it's meaningful to you. Looking uh, this morning from Acts. What? New Testament, Acts. Yeah, we're in Acts chapter nine. And uh, Acts chapter nine. And listen to this verse from verse six, okay? Acts chapter nine. Verse 6, and he trembled and astonished, said, Lord, what will thou have me to do? Now, that's the King James, uh, that's the King James Version. But here is a story of a human being asking God, what would you have me to do? Now let's let's talk about that and let's let's get into the weeds here. Let's not just talk over it. Let's dive in uh, and and talk about this this morning because I think there's something very very uh, uh, challenging and encouraging uh, to me and I and I pray to you as well. So so here's the thing: God has given to us a free will, right? We all know that God has given to us a free will, which is really an amazing gift where He gives us the authority to make the decisions for how we will live or how we will die, whether we will, uh, whether we will prosper or whether we will fail, whether we will live according to our own views, our own thoughts, our own way, and God being a gracious, loving father. I mean, you, you don't need to get much past the story of the prodigal son where you realize he is a loving father who refuses to go drag the boy out of the uh, out of the out of the pig pen and and bring him by the earlobe back home and put him in his room. No, God has given to us a free will and with that free will we are authorized by God to make decisions for how we will be governed. You don't need to get very far past uh past uh, uh, Genesis. I mean, just the first few chapters in the book of Genesis where we read that Adam was pinning his actions not on himself, but on his wife. And his wife was pinning her actions not on herself or on her husband, but on the serpent. And just a, a, a willingness to pass the buck that what I did is not my fault, it's someone else's fault. Okay, God is never going to buy that because God is the one who gave to us the free will. And with that free will, it is possible that we use our free will to take the counsel of someone else, be it a spouse, be it a family member, be it a co-worker, someone who's not going to give us godly counsel, but someone who will give us counsel. And when we make decisions based on the counsel of others, perhaps even the counsel of Satan himself, and when we take the counsel of someone and determine what decisions we're going to make and what we're going to do and how we're going to live, those same verses in Genesis tell us we are accountable for our actions. It's not our husband. It's not our wife. It's not the devil. It's not our employer, it's not our co-worker, it's not our actions are on us. So then when we find the free will that God has given us being used not simply to take the counsel of someone else, but to take the counsel of God, which is what we see in this, in this passage in Acts, Lord, what would you have me do, is really an amazing worship offering to the Lord that we are taking the free will that he gave us to govern our own lives and seeking his counsel as to what he how he views our lives playing out that's different than asking asking a co-worker or asking a spouse or asking the devil or asking a child or a parent all of those people wonderful godly counsel sick them go after godly counsel wonderful but it's a whole nother thing when we take the free will that God gave us and that we give it back to him. And we say, Lord, you counsel me. And let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me take one more step a little deeper here this morning. And whether or not we obey God always has consequences that come back on us. Because even knowing God 
or knowing God's plan for our lives, or knowing how God wants us to respond in this moment, whether or not we do it, although he has given to us free will, we are still accountable to God for how we use it. And so the safest place, I mean, I've, I have found my times at, myself at very, various times in life saying, Lord, I feel like this is what uh, I should do. I, this is all lining up. It's all good. It's all reasonable. But is this what you want me to do? And if this is not what you want me to do, then would you change my heart so that I want to do what you want me to do? I really want to be a steward of the free will that you have given to me and honor you with it and walk with you in it because you are still God. You are still the creator. And I am at best the creation whom you've trusted. You have entrusted to each one of us the authority to rule, to govern, to live our own lives. We just don't want to do it without you. And so this free will you have given where we can make any decision we want. Show me, O oh Lord, what thou wilt have me do. May that prayer be a prayer that challenges you. And may it, be, uh, may it really uh, uh, be uh, not simply a challenge, but really a, an entryway into a new kind of liberty where, um, where we really do seek God's counsel that our steps might be directed by the Lord. And that the things that we do, we are, we are desiring and moving into honoring him, even with everything that he's given us, including that free will to govern. So with that this morning, let me pray for you. Father, we thank you for your word and for the way that it really is a template and a blueprint for our lives. And as we begin building on your word and building our lives and standing on your word, it really does, as, as David uh, said, uh, begin to illuminate our path and, uh, and lead us and guide us. And so, Father, even this morning, we pray, I pray for myself and I pray for my friends that we might be good stewards of the free will that you have given to us and that we might honor you in the details of our lives, the detail, the very details of our lives, where we are prone to go one way, where, where hell is, is encouraging us one way, where, where other people are encouraging us another way. But at the end of the day, we are, we are accountable to you. And so lead us and guide us, and I pray for just a fresh filling and empowering and leading of your Holy Spirit that we might walk in a way that would make our lives fruitful for your kingdom. So for my friends today, I pray your blessing on them. I pray your protection over them. And I pray that they would hear your voice and walk with you in boldness today as we seek to honor you and obey you in the details of our lives. I pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, listen, it is a Wednesday. We're halfway there. Hope you're planning on the men's retreat uh, if you're uh, you know, a male. And I hope uh, you're planning on the family day up in Mozingo if you're alive. So that's coming up. Uh, that's coming up this weekend. Going to be a great time. And uh, hey, listen, seriously, J.R. Uh, Robertson and I are thinking about, uh, Wilson and I are thinking about going up to, uh, going up to Mazingo and spending the night a night early tomorrow night. So, uh, hey, if you want to go, uh, let us know. Call uh, call the office. They'd love nothing more than to take a call regarding my personal life and you're going camping with uh, with uh, JR and I. Okay, that's what I got. Uh, listen, hey, don't, hey, 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 hey. Right here. Eyes right here. We're going to be okay. Christ is still on the throne. Love you. See you this weekend.